All right, Shalom, my kiam. First and foremost, I to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to the Holy Scriptures, we're God chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brethren out there, pushes knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters and shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one that you call Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of one that you call God, one, one ignorantly called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he to be or he is. By Hashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. The Lord and Savior has come back to deliver the elect out of the nation of Israel from the destruction of modern day Babylon, aka America. I want to say Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahweh Shai, and Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day. Wake me up another day to fight this good fight. Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for all you beloved brethren out there pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. And hey, the body y'all by Shimmy I was shy for this opportunity, this Holy Spirit, man, and Lord willing we all make it. Alright, coming back, catch you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. But before I play these videos, you know, you gotta know that this is Babylon the Great, and this is um um what you call uh, uh an extension, extension of the beast system. Alright, the beast consists of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. European Union and America and America is the um the hammer of the earth America's military might through globalization through different world wars different campaigns they have done to different countries to establish the military force throughout the world and their bases to um bring in this new world order all right in, in the midst of these things um all these things are recorded in the scriptures, all these things are, are are been prophesied throughout the Holy Bible, and now today these things are happening at a rapid pace. All right, ever since the Heavenly Father has set up this internet and they, he allowed the, the apostles and elders to put his information on the internet, man, things are moving extremely fast, and we are those men coming back, Lord willing, Lord willing, from the apostles and elders on down. And everything is transpiring. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm gonna jump right into the scriptures. And Lord willing is an edifying lesson to the very elect. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 22. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? So the modern day Babylon is is America. And then speaking from ex-military personnel i thoroughly witnessed these things myself so i'm again to these videos and lord willing is an edifying lesson unto the very elect and remember kids the next time that somebody tells you the government wouldn't do that oh yes they would <laughs> And remember, kids, the next time that somebody tells you the government wouldn't do that, oh, yes, they would. So as you can see, the before and after effect of United States of America and the military might invade in these different countries, man. Now, does it make sense through the army, through the Navy, through the Marines and through the special forces, man? I'm going to show you another video. So everything we saying is according to biblical prophecy, man. All right. This is the most extensive network. 
network of military bases on the planet. In the Caribbean, Washington has a major strategic presence in Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and other locations such as the infamous Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. Large and small bases also appear in Central America and parts of South America, giving Washington control over the Caribbean Sea and the entrance to the Gulf of Mexico. The U.S. military presence is especially evident across Europe. Washington maintains around 100 bases in Germany alone and dozens of other facilities in Italy and the UK. In recent years, America has also expanded its military footprint across the African continent, funding many smaller strategic facilities such as airstrips, supply depots, and intelligence outposts you see here. Likewise, the U.S. operates dozens of bases in the Middle East to ensure rapid response to any potential conflict in the region. In an effort to contain China, North Korea, and Russia's Pacific fleet, Washington funds hundreds of bases across East and Southeast Asia. These include facilities in South Korea, Japan, and other key locations. The United States has the most extensive network of military bases on the planet. In the that's the hammer. And they, they get their, their backings is from NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, European Union, man. So that makes sense. So that's why they was able to invade these different countries and totally decimate them different countries and, and took our governments, man. This is the hammer. This is Babylon. This is the tip, what you call the tip of the spear for the B system, man, for the new world order. And it's all recorded in the scriptures. All right, this is where we at today. Okay, all right. Jeremiah fifty and twenty two. A sound of of a battle. I'm sorry. A, a sound of battle is in the land, and of great destruction. How is the hem of the whole earth cut asunder, and broken? How has Babylon become a desolation among the nations? So, pretty much from what you have done to these different countries, you're going to be broken down through Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So Russia and NATO is already in that war. Uh, Ukraine is just a proxy country. So, you know, Ukraine is getting their backings from NATO. That's that's known as the beast, man, and the scriptures. There's many false prophets out here. You know, they're not telling you the right thing. So you, you got to stick with Great Millstone and all the beloved brethren that teach like us. I've, I have laid a snare, a trap for thee. A snare is a trap. Thou art also taken. There was time for, for Babylon to go down to America. And thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught. Because thou hast striven against Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Everything you see out here. These laws. These are uh, uh, different regulations. Is against the God of the Bible. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Who controls this earth So what happened to different uh, Foreign nations in the past They got destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah got destroyed Ancient Egypt got destroyed Various other nations got destroyed For go against Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai man The Lord had opened his armory And has brought forth the weapons of his indignation You're dealing with the nuclear missiles man Those are the weapons of his indignation for this is the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Those are the elite ones. All right. The Illuminati, so to speak. All right. So you can continue to read this. That links up with the war that's getting ready to happen, which is going to lead to a thermal nuclear destruction. So the Heavenly Father have them in the trick bag. I think they're going to fulfill the new world order by, by World War Three and all them different things. They got I think they're going to plan, but they're going to get tricked. Because Yahweh Shai is going to show up. The angelic forces. And the, and the brothers are going to get... Hey, going to get activated, man. And it's going to be one hell of a fucking showdown. Right? It's going to be one hell of a showdown. So now we're going to go into uh, Revelation chapter 18. All right? Not 18. Um, 13. It's like you. Revelation 13. All right? And I stood upon the sand of the sea and I saw a beast... Rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. That's NATO, right? The North Atlantic Treaty Organization. 
Okay, you go into the, the seven heads. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to pull up that picture for you because I don't remember off the top of my head. Right. So you have to go pull it up for you. you could type in the beast and Google and type GMS behind it. The apostles and elders broke this down for us. So the seven heads, the seven governments or kingdoms ruled by Esau. Then with the Greeks, the British, the Germans, minor, the Spanish, the French, the Romans. And um, yeah, the Germans, minor, and major, man. Then you got the, the ten horns, which is um the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. You got them different countries right there. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just using the phone. What makes up the, the beast system today in America sits upon that beast. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Revelation 17 and 1. Okay? Plain and simple. That's the seven heads and ten horns. And America is the forefront of the blasphemy of the wickedness that's pushed throughout the earth by the military might, the military forces, the CIA. You go across the world, just invading people, blowing them up, passing wicked policies, setting up uh, puppet governments. Okay? So it, so verse 2, it says, And the beast which I, which I saw was like unto a leopard, Dealing with the Greeks, Alexander. That's when Esau um, came into power during the Greek Empire. And his feet were as the feet of a bear. Now you're dealing with the Russians. Okay? The Russians are going to be in a big part. It's going Gog and Magog is going to be a major part in, uh, of, the, of the destruction of this fucking empire with his Third World's War. And his mouth is at the mouth of a lion dealing with Great Britain. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat in great authority. Okay, so that dragon goes back to what? Ancient Rome. The whole Romanized system back again today, like one beloved brother uh, broke down, all right? He started off as a serpent in the garden, became a dragon, now he's a beast. But according to the scriptures, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is gonna, is gonna mash his hammer down, man. I'm gonna type Basra. All right, he said, I've sworn by myself, Basra shall become a desolation. I love this scripture, man. Jeremiah 49 and 13, this is Yahweh speaking. So everything is being accomplished through the mouth of the prophets and Yahweh shall coming back to mash this shit up, man. All right, Jeremiah 49 and 13, for I have sworn by myself, this is Yahweh speaking. Say, Yahweh, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, and a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be a perpetual oasis, man. So that's dealing with America. All right? So that's the time frame we're in. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip. Okay? And what is the beast? Is this system. Is this system. Esau power structure over the whole earth. So you're witnessing prophecy taking place in front of your eyes and the men of the Lord are back again today and Lord willing we are because <laughs> many false prophets is out there so if you have this truth man from the apostles and elders and all beloved brethren teaching like us you are blessed Lord will to the end Shalom